Good morning, Bobcat Nation. Welcome to this Day in the Life video. My name's MJ Baird. I'm a senior journalism major from Pembroke, Massachusetts. We got a special twist for you today, though. This isn't just a day in the life. It is days in the life. That's right, multiple days. I'm going to show you a little bit of what journalism students do. I'm heavily involved in our student media organizations on campus. We have a television station, radio station, sports network. I'm a sports guy through and through. And this weekend, I'm representing Q30 Television. That's our, our television television station at the MAC Championships in Albany. If you don't know what that is, our Quinnipiac men's and women's basketball teams compete in the MAC tournament. And every year, if they, if they make the playoffs, they play in the MAC tournament. It's at the Times Union Center in Albany, New York. So me and a couple representatives from Q30 are on our way to Albany. As you can tell, we're in the car now. I got my friend Shane Dennehy with me, a couple others joining us shortly. We got Chris Dacey joining us for the next stage of the trip. Chris, how we doing? Doing well. Early morning. Early morning it is, but this is spring break for you. Representing Q30 Television, the MAC Championships in Albany. Let's pack the car and get out of here. And finally, Brian Schwartz. Brian. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Next stop, Albany, New York. Catch us there. Destination reached Albany, New York. The Q30 Sports crew is in the building. We're headed to the team's MAC postseason award show. A couple different Bobcats, players and coaches potentially up for awards. All right, MAC postseason award show about to get underway. Q30 Sports here with your coverage. You see our camera here in the back. The room's starting to fill up as well. 2018-19 Women's Basketball for Rock MAC Coach of the Year. Trisha Fabry. All right, next up, we're heading to our first game of the weekend, Quinnipiac women's basketball hosting Fairfield. Tip at 1 o'clock from the Times Union Center. Here we go. Quinnipiac student media, what does that mean to you? I mean so much. The experience we're getting right now is something that nobody else gets, and we are so lucky and thankful to be here, and uh, let's have a weekend. I mean, well said, well put. Yields are redundant, see that? Couple days in the life of journalism students at Quinnipiac. <laughs> All right, about an hour before game time between Quinnipiac and Fairfield. Players warming up on the court. Let's have a look. We're here at the Times Union Center, folks. All right, halftime from the Times Union Center. Quinnipiac women's basketball leads by a score of 31 to 22. We'll show you some of the student media members here on press row. We got Brian Schwartz, some live stats of the game. Chris Dacey over here, as well as Shane Dennehy, our Quinnipiac Chronicle and Quinnipiac Bobcats Sports Network reporters down here in front of us, all doing some hard work reporting on these games. 48 your final Quinnipiac women's basketball wins its first game of the 2019 MAC tournament. We're headed to the press conference now. We'll hear from coaches and players after the game. Stay tuned. We clinched the one seed. We were all excited to head back up to the Renaissance Hotel. So, all right, press conference completed. I'm going to do some one-on-ones with the Quinnipiac athletes and start our post-game content. Here comes the fun. One down, two to go. How'd this one feel? It felt great. Um, I keep hearing it, but it's the hardest one to get, so it was good to get it under a belt and the way we did to have that much of a gap at the end, so it felt good. One win down today, two more to go in another MAC title. How'd this one feel? Uh, I mean, it feels good. I think some of us, well, I know I was, I was a little nervous. The two-time defending MAC champion Quinnipiac Bobcats opened up the 2019 MAC tournament today with a 63-48 win over the Fairfield Stags. All right, press conferences are over. Now we're back in the media room. Time to edit our content together, push it out on the website, social media, get some views. 
All right, that's a wrap on day one's women's basketball coverage. It's all on our website at Q30 Sports. Let's have a look. Quinnipiac women's basketball again advancing to the MAC semifinals with a win over Fairfield today. And uh, we had fun putting out our content for the day. Back at it again tomorrow. Coffee. Went with the chocolate frosted with sprinkles today. Chris got the hot coffee, a couple bacon, egg, and cheeses. Absolutely. Yeah. The usual. Got to fuel up for when we're hard at work. Tip off today for Quinnipiac men's basketball, 7 p.m. But first, women's basketball media availability before their game tomorrow. New day, same location. It's the Times Union Center in Albany. The Q30 Sports student media crew is in the building. But also the Quinnipiac men's team has its first game tonight. They're playing in the quarterfinals against Monmouth. But head coach Baker, Chris just almost fell down the stairs. That was amazing. Great recovery. Yeah, that's Great going That is literally speed. going on the wall. That was a good burst of speed. Chris literally just like fell down the stairs. Um, <laughs> and now he's just denying it. That's awesome. All right, a couple hours ahead of the Quinnipiac men's basketball game, all our student media hard at work here in the media workroom. As I said, Quinnipiac women's basketball media availability upcoming in about half hour or so. Then we got the men's game later. But let's see what we're working on ahead of today's game. We got that. Pre-game content, because content never stops. Let's take a look. Key. And we got Kevin over here. He's doing his own thing. You're doing homework at Mac Albany? Uh, it's yeah, sad. Yeah, never stops. It's very sad. We're covering games. This kid's doing homework. But hey, that's what it's all about, because you know why? We're students first. They're student athletes. We're student journalists. I won't be a student for long if... This grade is what I think it's going to be. So. <laughs> that is sad, but we'll get you when we talk to some of the players. See you in a few minutes. from the Quinnipiac players and coaches. We had a one-on-one -on -one with Abdullah Bundu. We heard from Baker Dunleavy in the post-game press conference, as well as Cam Young and Jacob Rigoni. Now we're going to do our content. Shane Denny is going to be writing an article. Chris Stacy and myself are going to be two analysts on a rebound. And then Brian Schwartz is doing a package of his own. That's three different pieces of content, four different people. We're in for the next couple of hours in the editing room. But after that, we get to go watch some free basketball after that. So let's get to work and have fun later. One and done in the 2019 MAC tournament. Not the outcome the Quinnipiac men's basketball team was looking for. They fall to the Monmouth Hawks in the MAC quarterfinals by a final score of 98 to 92. All right, happy Sunday morning, folks. It's day three of the MAC tournament from Albany. We're getting ready here in our hotel room. The Quinnipiac women's team has Monmouth this morning at 11 a.m. Some snow to start the day here in Albany. You can see my poor escape there with a little snow on it. All right, tip off just occurring here at the Times Union Center for the women's basketball max semifinal between Quinnipiac and Monmouth. The Bobcats trailing this one by a score of three to two. It's very early. Don't worry about it just yet, folks. called Tweet Deck. This is our Twitter platform for all our social media. We have a bunch of different tabs going here, and we can also watch the game at the same time. 
Here we are on press row. Halftime from the women's basketball game. Quinnipiac leads 41 to 17. Liz Flynn doing her thing once again. As usual, always. And editing those photos. There's Brian Schwartz in the background. Some good photos to Sapples. Yeah, you know, I do my best on occasion. Yeah, for sure. Getting some student media photos as well. Oh, nice. Gotta show off all the hard work. Yes, showing off our students. That's right. And there he is. What a star. in convincing fashion over the Monmouth Hawks, 80-42 year final. The Bobcats are going to the MAC final once again, the sixth time in a row that Quinnipiac will be headed to the conference championship game. Focus on teams like this, not overlook games here in the MAC. It was really good to get off to a quick start and keep it going. Another year and another MAC tournament title game for the Quinnipiac Bobcats. Good morning, everybody. Here at the Times Union Center now, Quinnipiac shoot around in about 25 minutes. Uh, we're headed to the media room now, get set up for the day. It's going to be an exciting one. As I said, it's Championship Monday from rainy Albany, New York this morning. But um, we're out here. We're going to have some fun. It's the MAC Championship. Quinnipiac and Marist. These two teams, not necessarily so fond of each other, if you put it that way. So it's going to be a fun one to cover and uh, get some good perspectives from the players after the game. First one in, last one out. That's just how it has to be done around here. We're already grinding. Nine o'clock this morning. Sending out a tweet, getting ready for the day. You're going over, Del, over, Del, over, Del. Every screen, over, over, over. We got to take away the threes. Make them go dribble the ball going forward against our defense all night. We're there. Red Foxes, two teams that are no strangers to each other, playing in, eight, in three of the last five. Pre-game shoot around, wrapping up for the Bobcats. 2.30 p.m. tip versus Marist. Should be a good game. It's the conference title, a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line. We're doing our research here. We're watching the current Quinnipiac Day in the Life video. Good looks, everybody. But unfortunately for Colin, um, hate to tell you, but this one's going to be a little bit better. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But we're striving to be better. Um, no offense, but it's going to be the best day in the life video ever. All right, heading back to the rink. A couple hours before the game. We're going to get some... Nice video here of the Times right, Union right, Center. Right, 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 right. One, nice one, 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 one. Number one, it's number one. It's it's a it's an arena. Number two, he calls sandwiches wedges. I'm all the way up, hey, hey, hey. I'm all the way up, hey. Escalators, man. Good time. Good time. All right, we're underway in the 2019 Women's MAC Basketball Championship. Quinnipiac and Marist fighting for the conference title. The Bobcats won the last two, including last year against this very, very same Marist team. Quinnipiac trying to beat them for the third time this season. They already beat them twice in the regular season. It's not going to be easy, but the Bobcats are trying to take home some more hardware. Meanwhile, Marist trying to get their name back up in the rafters. They haven't been there in four years. I'm looking at the banners now. Marist is certainly trying to get a new banner here at the Times Union Center. We'll have all your updates throughout the game online, and then afterwards, like I said before, it's where the real fun starts, covering the team, win or lose. Let's do it. Amazing, absolutely amazing. The this this that, that's all I can do to describe this Quinnipiac women's basketball team. I mean, three straight conference titles, three state straight NCAA tournament appearances, 52 straight conference wins. This team just does not lose. All right, thanks so much for watching this weekend. We had a blast again. My name's MJ Baird. This is. A couple days in the life of a Quinnipiac journalism student outside of the classroom, right? It's our co-curriculars, our student media organizations, me with Q30 Television. So thank you guys so much for tuning in throughout this whole thing. We had a blast here at the Times Union Center in Albany this weekend for the 2019 MAC Championship. So, so long from Albany. I hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time.